Hey guys, my name is Rowan. I am a mother of a five-year-old girl. Her name is Faith, and I am also the mother of a three-month-old little boy named Keaton. Today, I am going to be talking about how to get your baby or newborn onto a sleep cycle. Um, sleep cycles are very important because uh, it keeps you sane. No, I'm kidding, but seriously, it does. And also, it gets the baby sort of in the groove of things. So I got Keaton, if you can see him over here, he's in his little swing. Um, I got Keaton on a sleep cycle at about two months old and he's been on the same sleep cycle ever since. Um, babies really respond well to a schedule. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get them on that schedule, but once they're on the schedule, then they're on it for life just as long as you keep it going. Um, it can be really hard starting off. So with him, it took about a week to really get him in the groove of things. But once he was in the groove, we've never looked back. Um, just make sure not to give up. And another thing, so make sure they know that it's bedtime. So I do specific things every single night to make sure that he knows that he is about to go to bed. Um, and it can be little things. You can read them a book or you can give them a bath. For me personally, my sleep cycle for him goes uh, at about 8.30, I give him a bath. And sometimes I give him a bath every night. I did at the beginning and the reason why is because he had cradle cap. So I gave him a bath every night to kind of loosen that up. But now it's probably every other night I give him a bath, but the bath time he knows that he is about to go to sleep. Um, so sometimes if I do give him a bath every single night um, and he doesn't have cradle cap, look at this cat, look at this, what's happening here? Um, where was I? Oh, sometimes if I give him a bath, um, and he doesn't need to be washed, I'll just let him play in the water. And that really gets him calm and calms him down. He really enjoys it. After he gets out of the bath, or on the days that I don't give him a bath, I still give him a baby massage. So I use um, this. Well, it's from Johnson's. It's a baby uh, oil and he really enjoys that. It's a lot, it works better than the, the lotion, especially if you're gonna do a baby massage because it lasts longer, it doesn't soak into the skin as much. And he loves it. I get his legs, his arms, his back, all over. I don't get his face because he'll break out, so just keep that in mind. Sometimes if he's like, if he has uh, some dry skin on his face, I'll put it where the dry skin is, but I won't put it all over his face. After that, um, I change his diaper. I keep his diaper on during the massage because he's a boy and you never know when they're going to pee on you. Um, but I change his diaper and then I put him in a sleeper. The sleeper part is very important. So in the morning, I take him out of the sleeper and put him in the onesie. At night, I take him out of the onesie and put him in the sleeper. So that switch, he knows that that means that bedtime's coming. So I'll change his diaper, put him in a sleeper, and then I'll do his night feed. His night feed, he's still nursing, so I nurse him to sleep. Uh, some people say don't nurse your baby to sleep, nurse him until they're drowsy or, or whatever, but do what you gotta do to keep, get your baby to sleep. So I nurse him to sleep. If you're bottle feeding, same thing. Um, just you feed him and he sleeps for six hours at a time. So he we start to we start the sleep cycle at 830 at night He goes to bed at 9. He wakes up at 3 o'clock in the morning to feed He goes right back to sleep and he wakes up at 8 o'clock. So his sleep cycle goes 830 we start getting ready. He has a bath. He has a baby massage We change his diaper and then I do his night feed and that's that he enjoys it. He knows when it's bedtime. He even starts to get fussy sometimes when he's getting close to his bedtime because he knows that's the time he's supposed to go to bed. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. 
And if you have any extra tips and tricks on how to get your baby on a sleep cycle or a sleep schedule, then go ahead and leave a comment below because I'd love to see those. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.